Yamasu. I'm Ali Zama, and this is our winter project for 2023. So over the course of the entire winter project, we decided to make hexagonal shelves and Veronic shelves, as well as a series of different ways to depict the AVG logo. So we started with the hexagonal shelf by using hexagonal curves, by using grasshopper and a grasshopper script. We also included Verona sequences and cells integrated into a hexagonal cell from the shelf. As we see, we started with two different designs and we compressed them down to two smaller ones that are curved and can also display in whole book shelves, and these are to scale. This is the grasshopper script we decided to use, starting with the hexagonal grid, number sliders, and XYZ plane. Um, we also decided to pull some points and graph the points, as well as remap the points into different into different forms, as well as extrude the domains for the internal side of the hexagon and the external part of the hexagons. And we scaled them up, also extruded them outwards, so we have like a 3D element instead of a flat 2D space. And the effects are as seen in the other one. Um, moving forward, um, we, we, we made it to the next, next step for making the logo for ADG in a different kind of like laser cutting um, with the design making a frame out of it. So these here um, are the the, can you go back, please? Um, these here are the DSF files that, that are used to like cut the laser printing. And then these are the main models that we created using um, cardboard. Um, to experiment this, we went to the makerspace at NGID. Um, it was a great, great experience. Um, Muhammad Umar here made a great design where he kept um, a wing kind of logo at the background where you can see it right here um, and focusing ADG in the middle. And Ali made a really amazing design that incorporated the cityscape which actually kind of depicts the whole idea behind ADG which are, is a structural engineering form. So when we did our shelves using Grasshopper and Barone Noise, we would curve them and we also broke apart our groups of grasshopper cells into individual hexagonal shells that to scale would really be about 1.5 by one foot. And they could hold the capacity of almost six pounds worth of books with the correct material, of course. And when we trusted different ways of organizing them, stacking, putting to the side, and that's how we came with uh, and came up with our previous design, which we're seeing here and here. Yeah. And we, we never wanted to lose the, f the the idea of hexagons since it's a very unique kind of thing. Um, for 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 a shelf, you need something which can tilt the books and keep it on the side or place some material like those when shining in different directions. This is also a common technique in a lot of um, building frames and like structural aspects of more, uh, more modern buildings. And I really did like the beehive idea originally because this mimics a workspace and beehives are really the depiction of a true workspace where there are worker bees and I felt like this shelf really does integrate how the workers come together to make a huge, great impact.